Good morning, folks. How are we all doing? It's bright and early here. It's not actually. Um, it's quarter to seven, so that's it's quite late for me. Um, but I woke up about six this morning, so I did sleep in a little bit better than normal. Um, that that waking up at quarter to five, that's just a joke. And I have actually woke up feeling a load better this morning. So let's, I might even have a go at taking a COVID test and see if I'm plague free. I've not been out for over a week now. Um, some fresh air probably would do me good. And as far as I can see, it's not raining yet. So anyway. Nothing happened with DC Media Hill yesterday. Although, yeah, I've done it. Ugh. Rumble and negs. <laughs> I'm going to go and have a look later on. Maybe maybe if anything happened there last night, we can deal with that later on this evening for, for just the laugh of it. But food didn't do a live either. No loss because they go on forever and are really boring. But we've got one on the couples channel. So it would seem that the couple's channel is just as consistent in their community postings as Foodie is with her own channel. Not that this isn't her own channel. Um, apparently, we were not going to be having um, any uploads for, well, until, whenever, um, because of her mental health break. Yep, well, there's an upload. Um, so, yeah, let's do it. Let's jump in. Um, Salah takes foodie, well, shit shopping, basically. Um, she's titled this, hang on, what did she title this? My husband spoils me and takes me shopping. Mm. Now, I've never thought myself as particularly high maintenance, but, um, there's being spoiled and then there's this. And she is dragging this out to get, to get get just to that bracket of eight nine minutes where um you can get the the, the ads in the middle they're scratching for cash i do you find it really really strange that salah takes her shit shopping and spoils her just around because this was videoed a little while ago just around a youtube payday i'm sure it's just a coincidence ladies and gentlemen i'm sure it's just a coincidence anyway let's go yalla <laughs> Hello guys, we are back. <laughs> Welcome to a new video. Is he an Uber man? Is he an Uber taxi driver? Has he been doing some airport runs there with his jacket and his proper shirt on? Look at him, he's spoiling his missus here. Taking her for Fanta. Whatever they are. Can't. Are they curly? Well, are they round fries or are they all onion rings? And uh, whatever it is. Their version of an... Burger King. Burger King is my favourite. Yep, I must be high maintenance because my old man was taking me out shopping and to spoil me, I'd be like, Burger King? That's emergency airport food. What the hell? Well, Alexi's found her nashy, isn't she? Double Chicken Royal Bees. Oh, guys, looks horrible. <laughs> yeah, we're at the shitty sook. God, this is, I used to love the sook in Bahrain. How much is this? One million. <laughs> okay, I'll give you one pence. <laughs> okay, you know you're going to spend 20 quid. It just takes forever. It's great fun. We're at a sook in Samia looking for a buyer. So a sook is just an Arabic term for market. So there's different shops, as you can see, this sector. Oh, they're in the gold department here. The gold section in Abu Dhabi is absolutely amazing. I think it was Dubai Airport. I don't know if it's still like it, but years ago, they had bloody vending machines where you could buy little gold bars. That was mad. Or area, I should say, was full of jewellery. There's a lot of gold here in the Gulf countries. Well, come on then, he's going to spoil you. Come on, let's get some bling really good quality gold 
There's also a lot of abaya and hijab shops and other various things, usually at Total shit shopping. Total haggling shit shopping. Great fun, great fun. It's not being spoiled though, is it? At a pretty decent price and they rely on a kind of negotiate kind of system where yeah, it's bartering everything's bartering brilliant fun where you can talk down the price or negotiate a price it's usually how it works as opposed to an actual commercial store branded store getting is getting a buyer being spoiled really i mean it's it's just to cover up your normal clothes um i, I don't know it, it's kind of like well for salah apparently it's a necessity isn't it for her not to as a western woman as a christian western woman not to be able to show a bit of wrist or ankle or neck or nah. it's not really being spoiled though I mean, but I guess if if you chuck a Burger King in there, wee. I like this style, and the sleeves are nice. Also has pockets. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like stripes. 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 Animal print. <laughs> nope. Probably own one thing in this house that's got stripes, and it came in a pack of three T-shirts, and that's the one that gets used for decorating. Which is convenient. Since we they do lovely ones with really like nice embroidery and things like that on. Come on. We walk a lot. You're being spoiled. Give a little. On the side. Wide and elegant. Oh, no. Yet. I like that one, yes. Oh, absolutely not. Get out of here. Get out of here. That's horrible. What size is that? 58? 54. 54. Won't squeeze in there, love. But it looks big, huh? Yeah. It will fit. <laughs> it won't. Inshallah. Oh, it didn't fit. So this is option number one. Yeah, that one. That's all right. Do you like it? Yeah, it's nice. Uh, yeah. So, despite the previous video saying that we liked the outfit, the abaya, I didn't end up getting it. I did a few more turns in it, looked in the mirror some more, and I decided I don't really find it that flattering. Ah, uh, foodie, the whole point of it is it's not supposed to be flattering. It's supposed to cover you up so that all them, them men out there, they can't see your luscious curves. I mean, it does its job. That's covering you up. That's what it's for. So I didn't end up getting anything, unfortunately, at the souk in Salmia. So as you can see, she's proper dragging this video to get it over the line there for the mid rolls. We're gonna head on to somewhere else where I know they'll have my sizes and something that I like because I've been there before. <laughs> Yella. Hello, guys. Hey, guys. So, do we reckon his job is as a taxi man? There's nothing wrong with it, not knocking taxi men. God, they get me to work when the trains are on strike. But he looks like he's the guy that picks you up from the airport. I'm here looking for um, some abayas. And um, yeah, we're going to check out Dream Mall now. So good old Dream Mall. I really like it here. I always find abayas in my size that I like for an affordable price. But foodie, you're only there for another three odd weeks. Do you need any more? Really? It's not like you go out much. So, Yella. I'll buy a bison. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right, all right. I know my laughing scene. Here we go. Dragging it out again. Exaggerated in the last clip. But anytime I hear someone use the term beezing, I can't help it. I laugh hysterically. It just... Oh, do you now? Well, that is a sign of needing to, um, I don't know inject some more existence of fun in your life because it's not that hilarious makes me so happy we've been here before haven't we 
Dream World just looks like a shitty warehouse, doesn't it? Nothing wrong with it. Don't mind a bit of shit shopping myself. But um, being spoiled, this is not. I'm going to get some for the kitchen and bathroom. What's your size, babe? Oh, it's Euro. 40 Euro size, huh? Yeah, 40 would be about eight, eight and a half or so. That'll work. There's a sheen shop in here. I think we have a new collection here. Oh, maybe for winter or something. Yeah. yeah. They're better. I like them. Hello. Let's check the size. Here we go. It's no. elegant, baby. Oh, no, it isn't. That's horrible. Oh, God. That's horrible. They're really nice ones there. Yeah, this is more my size, bigger sizes here at Dream Mall, which I like. Awesome. Size 60. All right, I'm going to try another one. Yeah, what, exactly. Good morning. It's <coughs> night time for you, is it, Diana? Um, morning for me, it's not even 7 o'clock in the morning, but I'm always up at the crack of dawn. And I want to hoover my house because I'm feeling a bit better from my COVID this morning, but even I'm not going to inflict the vacuum cleaner on uh, on anyone at this time of the morning. Yeah, I, I had, I've got a couple up in the loft and they had all like, like the cuffs all nicely embroidered and oh, they were like, they were nice. I had a normal one and I had, um, and I had a posh one as well depending on like where you were going um but it wasn't necessary to wear them all the time because i'm western but certain places certain times of year you did but they had nice ones there where did this one come from this one's horrible oh, it's early morning okay you in the uk as well ah or europe You're somewhere in europe let's leave it at that <laughs> they'll track you down <laughs> On now. Okay, babe. See you. <laughs> See you. And the other one. Um, How's that, baby? What do you think? You like it? I think it's cool. It's kind of quiet and beautiful. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's very they, they have nicer ones in there than that. I mean, is she choosing these ones because they don't have them in that her size? Because she's not standard, even in the shop that sells big ones. The selection must be fewer. Very subtle. Alright, so I think I'll get this one too. Oh crikey, two o'clock in the morning. Wow, I can't remember the last time I was up that late <laughs> when I was going through my insomnia. I usually, but it, it's changed now. I used to have this thing where I'd always wake up at three in the morning. That was annoying. Um, whereas now, um, I seem to have changed that up a bit. I just wake up stupid early. I wake up at five. Oh no, that's no good. Oh, you poor thing. Poor thing. That's no fun. I'm sorry to hear that. It's like, unless you've had insomnia or up all night. <clears throat> I've said it before on this channel. I had years of it. Something traumatic happened and, and it still keeps me awake now. Um, At times. Certain times of the year. I kind of go off the rails a bit. Well, a lot. Um, And unless you've had insomnia, you don't realise how long and how boring night times are. Um, unless you're the only fucker who's awake. <laughs> but I'm sorry to hear that. That's not good. See, this is the good thing about the internet. There's loads wrong with the internet. But, um, there's always someone or there's always somebody who's awake in the world to keep you a little bit company. <clears throat> oh, no. Yeah, no good. Absolutely, you poor thing, Diana. Poor thing, I'm going to have to find something else to put on then, aren't I, for the next half hour. Keep you company once this shit's finished. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Right, I'm going to try and say your name. That's Cynthia, isn't it? Sorry, I've got... I, I, I can hardly sleep this morning, I don't know why. <laughs> old, old eyeballs. Good morning. It's an unusual name. What's your name? Okay. Alright guys, so I'm gonna get these two abayas and some yep. dubs and then we'll be out of here. Why are you so handsome, Bo? Oh, stop it. Just stop it. Fooling, apathetic. 
Uh, I mean, she had to, actually got the cheek to to say her husband spotted taking her out shopping. So taking her out shopping. What is it? She, my husband spoils me and takes me shopping. My husband takes me to the shittiest part of town, buys me Burger King, and it just coincidentally happens to be around the time that YouTube pays his money out. Just a coincidence, folks. <laughs> it's nice to see you dressed up for the occasion. <laughs> I pronounced it right. Phew. <laughs> That's good. I always worry. <laughs> for real. For real. Yeah, he is. Loves it. Loves it. Babe? So now you're looking for the hijab? Yes. Okay. We know that. Looking for ones that cover the neck. All right, so I now have my own pair of bathroom and kitchen shoes. Hey, Chantal here. So I figured... Look at this. Look at this. She's dragging this. Absolutely dragging this. So that it gets to the nine minutes or so for the mid rolls. Foodie, we know what you're doing. We see ya. To probably explain the kitchen and bathroom shoes because it's just to keep the feet clean. So whenever I got here, Sala had a pair of Crocs to use in the bathroom yeah, and in the stupid. kitchen. But I never ended up getting my own until now, and his feet are like size 13, so I'm just happy to have my own pair. I mean, the only thing with that is it's like, um, hmm, black slimming. The black that she's wearing is surely broken. We just never got around to it until now. Alright, and I got a few more hijabs and undercaps. So I got this hijab. Very thick material. It's not see-through. Oh, great. That's just what you need. You're sweating like a pig indoors anyway. It's only going to get warmer over there. Oh, you'll be gone by then. Be fine. All of this is just a waste of money. Give it two weeks when she's home. We'll be back to normal again. We need her back to normal. Nice and warmer for winter months here. Nice and warm for winter months here. But you're going in three weeks. And you're boiling hot. It's winter out there for them because they're used to it being boiling hot, like super boiling hot. So it is cold. You do feel cold. I came from Thailand to Bahrain in, was it January? End of December, January, and it was winter time and I was frozen. I was absolutely frozen, but it wasn't cold. It was like 20 odd degrees. So it wasn't cold. And you're not cold. You will be cold when you go back to Canada. Boof, that's going to hit you. And we have some more here under caps, oh. off white and black. And these are longer under caps that cover the whole neck that are already put together. Very convenient for beginners like myself. Is that so you don't get told off by Salah again? Fix your eye jam. You also saw me try on the abayas that I got. So I mm -hmm. will put a star beside the ones that I chose. If I, sh I can't remember what ones I showed you guys, but I did find some that fit and very happy the one i was wearing yeah she's gonna have such a shock and she did she hasn't got the car at the airport either so she got public transport didn't she there oh she's gonna be frozen when she gets back we had um when we were on our travels like the boys and i we had i think it was about two odd winters where we'd actually not had a winter because we went from europe over to new zealand and then back to spain didn't really have a winter there and then oh, winter in the UK something like that it was oh my god that winter we all caught absolutely everything everything for the whole bloody six months someone always was ill so a right old shock I still question it now why did we come back wearing today is a size 58 I checked the tag but I did get it from that Abaya shop before Basically, all of the abayas I bought were from that one shop. So I do like that shop. They do have bigger sizes. I thought you said it was size 60. Anyway, it really makes no difference, does it? Some are just made smaller. It just depends. So I asked Sala how much the abayas were, just in case you're wondering. One was 20 KD, 
which Bloody equals hell. over 80 This is like 55, 55 odd quid? Dollars, Canadian dollars. I'm not sure American, sorry, I'll try to convert it for you. <laughs> if I'm not lazy. And then the other one was 23 KD. So, but they're very good material. They're also a little more expensive because they're plus size. Well, yeah, I guess that makes sense. More material. And everything is Euro sizes here. So 58, I'll try to convert that for you guys as well. There is a conversion chart somewhere online, I'm sure. Google has everything. All right, so here is a conversion chart for you for women's clothing. So it looks like a size 60 is around a 4X. So probably somewhere in between a 3X and a 4X, depending on how it's made, like I said before. Yeah, put this clip in, drag it out a bit. Alright, so that the closing is. clip was actually from... Look at how she's doing it, Kim. she's dragging it out again. We've never had these screen grabs, like screen stills in the middle where she over talks and she's speaking really, really slowly as well. Foodie, we see what you're doing here. From a new theme park that opened up mm -hmm. in Salmia in mm -hmm. Kuwait called Winter she Wonderland. Is. I don't know how long it's open for. Maybe just for the winter. And the thing is, um, that, 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 that whole thing, wearing her bear, they're not supposed to be tight. They're not supposed to be tight. That's the whole damn idea of them. You don't see anything. I mean, I'm like a little stick anyway, so it's like, but, but you're not, that's the whole idea of them. I'm not sure, but it's like a carnival basically. It has a bunch of rides. You can hear the people screaming. I'm not really going to be going on many rides, but I want to go on the Ferris wheel and play games. We're not able to book a ticket. It's been packed, packed, and everything is sold out. So, inshallah, in the future, we will get to bring you guys there and Winter Wonderland Bees. Keep your fingers crossed. We do have an amazing surprise for you tomorrow, so stay tuned for our vlog tomorrow. An amazing surprise, yay! Prepare to be astounded and amazed, people. I mean, she couldn't make it into a, a long video and amaze and astound us now. Oh no, we need to prep up for it. Oh, good night, guys. Well, that was amazing. We can all only be jealous of Foodie that we don't have a husband that takes us out and spoils us with Burger King and taking us to the market. Man. Living the dream she is. Living the damn dream. Right, so that's the end of that. Um, do you know what? I think I'm going to cut this one now. Um, I'm going to make a coffee and some toast. And then maybe we'll... Should we watch... Should we watch Pete? Should we watch Pete's try and make carbonara? I think I've got that video somewhere. Let me just check. Let me just check. I'm sure I have. Yeah, should we all take like 15 minutes and I'll schedule it now um, and we'll watch Pete butcher some carbonara. Now it's Pete's videos. It go, it's going to go on for hours, but we'll just watch the cooking bit, call it a day um, and then we can crack on with our morning. We've got King Cobes getting arrested and making crab nachos. I think about 10 o'clock in the morning my time, so we'll need an hour off from this crap, won't we? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to jump off, make some breakfast, well, a bit of toast and another coffee, and uh, I catch you all. Yeah, yeah, it's a, uh, it is, it is the carbonara as well. Um, should be relatively quick because it is just pasta. Um, apparently, he made meatloaf last night. Yeah, no, I'm not interested in meatloaf. He always makes meatloaf. Um, and it's the squidging sounds of the mints that I can't... Something really creepy about that sound in Pete's. I don't know why. <laughs> no, I don't know. <sighs> yeah, she won't be able to go on any rides. They'll not get, they'll not get the harnesses around her. Um, I, I mean, I'm just glad she hasn't been on a camel. That would have, that would have set the thing on fire, wouldn't it? Her animal cruelty is bad enough. We keep going to the zoo. So, yep. Yeah. So, give me... Give me what is it, 10 past, let's say half past 7, my time, so give me 20 minutes, um, I'll schedule it now, and uh, yeah, we'll watch Pete's do a bit of cooking.
So thank you very much for being here. And uh, yeah, look after yourselves if I don't catch you in 20 minutes time. Um, but bear with me, um, coffee and toast is required. So thank you so much. Take care and catch you soon. All right, that's it. I'm out. Bye.